All right, we're going to talk about section 1.4 from geometry today, measure and classify angles. So let's talk about what an angle is. An angle is actually an object made from two rays. So it, they share a common endpoint, those two rays, but go in different directions. So they go in different directions, but they share an endpoint. So really, if we name an angle, what we need is we need three points to name an angle. So the first way we can name this angle is given the three points is, and to do it, signify an angle, we use this little symbol. That really, that right there means angle. So the first way we can name this angle is doing A, B, C. Notice that the point that they share in common is in the middle there. So angle A, B, C. We have ray B, A and ray B, C that make angle A, B, C. The next angle we could name is angle C, B, A. We cannot do B, C, A. We cannot do A, C, B because those A and C are not connected to each other. All right, one more thing that we could name this one. Since it's one angle by itself, all alone, we could name this angle B. That's the angle they share in common. And I'll show you why we can only do it on ones that we can have in common. Let's look at these angles. So we have a bunch of different angles here. First angle we have is W, X, Y. So I can call that one angle W, X, Y. I could call it angle Y, X, W. And I'll show you why in a second I can't call that angle X. You might already see it. We also have Z, X, Y. So we have angle Z, X, Y, which we could also call angle Z, or sorry, Y, X, Z. Y, X, Z. We have one more angle in there that's kind of harder to see because that's the whole thing. W, X, Z. We have angle W, X, Z. We could also call it angle Z, X, W. Now, if you look up there, we really have three combinations of angles. We have the blue combinations, we have the red combinations, and we have the green. All of those are the same angle. They're just named flip-flopped. So that's why I can't call it X. I can't call it angle X because which one are you talking about? Are you talking about WXY? Are you talking about YXZ? Are you talking about ZXW? Which one are you talking about? All right. So let's talk about the main types of angles that you guys are going to learn about. The first one is an acute angle. It's so adorable that it's pretty small. So an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. It's so adorable, you can't even control yourself that you think it's so cute. An obtuse angle, that is more than 90 degrees. So it's greater than 90 degrees, you guys look at that. A right angle, what a right angle is, is that it is equal exactly to 90 degrees. And we signify a right angle with that little symbol or that little box in the corner there. That little box right there that you're going to sit down in, that means it's 90 degrees. And a straight angle, I think you guys could guess, that's just a straight line, if I could draw a straight line, right? That is a straight line, doesn't ever bend, just goes straight. All right, so let's look here and let's classify these angles, what kind of angle they are. So KIL, KIL, that is my angle right here. If we look at that, that's less than 90 degrees. So it is adorable, and you love it so much that it's acute. It's such a cute angle. It's an acute angle. All right, H-I-K, H-I-K. That angle right there is obtuse. It is more than 100, or sorry, more than 90 degrees. So it is obtuse. All right, a right angle. A right angle means that we have 90 degrees. And it's not showing up here, but we should be able to tell that that is a 90 degree angle. We have a couple different angles we could name it, but I'm going to name, name this one J-I-H. We could also name it J-I-L, but I'm going with J-I-H. A straight line or a straight angle is going to be that flat line, remember? So I'm going to name, name that one angle H-I-L. Again, I could go backwards and name it L-I-H as well. Angle addition, what that means is when I add up two angles, I'm going to get the combination of those two angles. So what I mean by that, let's show an example. It's really hard to see without an example. So angle addition, let's do angle M-A-T, M-A-T, plus angle T-A-H, plus angle T-A-H. And what does that equal? Well, that equals the whole thing, which is... M A H angle M and I'm running out of room so I'm going to move those over here quick M A 
h. So now let's fill in the pieces. We know what the measure of angle, and I should really put my measure in there. This is the measure of angle mat equals the measure of angle tah, which equals the, and I'm going to rewrite that, the measure of angle mah. All right, so let's put in the measures that we know. We know what the measure of angle MAT is. Well, it's 25 degrees. We know what the measure of angle TAH is. Well, it's 30 degrees. So all we have to do now is add those up. What's 25 plus 30? It's 55 degrees. So the measure of angle MAH equals 55 degrees. Now, I put that little M in front of the angle. What that means is you're talking about the measure of that angle, okay? So, measure of angle ABC equals 44 degrees. So, ABC equals 44 degrees. How do we figure out the rest of those pieces? Well, I know that this piece equals 5X plus 2. I know this piece equals 7X plus, minus 6. And I know that ABD, the measure of angle ABD, plus the measure of angle DBC is going to equal the measure of angle ABC. So let's plug in the pieces, okay? So we know that 5x plus 2 plus 7x minus 6 is going to equal 44 degrees. Now we have to do a solve it, put our pieces together. We get 12x minus 4 equals 44. Add 4 to both sides, so we get 12x equals 48. Now divide by 12, and we get x equals 4, to 4, right? So let's find what each piece equals. Let's make sure we did this right. So 5 times 4 plus 2 equals 20 plus 2 equals 22 degrees. Let's see if this side equals 22. 7 times 4 minus 6, so 7 times 4 is 28, minus 6 is 22 degrees. Did they equal the same thing? Well, yes, they did, so our answer was correct with 4. Good job. All right. Now, given that measure that angle KLM is straight angle, find the measure of angle KLM and measure of NLM. So we know that those two angles added together equal 180 degrees. So all we have to do here is we take our piece 10x minus 5 plus 4x plus 3 equals 180 degrees. Because we know a straight angle is 180 degrees, and we know that the measure of angle KLN plus the measure of angle NLM equals the measure of angle KLM. And now all we did was plug in our pieces. So now let's combine our like terms. So 14x minus 2 equals 180. So 14x equals 182. Now we divide by 14, which means that x is going to equal 13. Now we have to check our work. Let's see if this actually works. So I'm going to plug in 13 for 10 here. So 13 minus 5. So I get 130 minus 5 is 125 degrees. Okay, let's do the same thing here. So 4 times 13 plus 3. So 4 times 13 is 52 plus 3 is 55 degrees. Now I need to take these two and see do they add up to 180. Well, 125 plus 55, heck, they do add up to 180. So we did it. We got our answer. All right, let's do one more here of this. How many degrees are those going to add up to? Well, it's kind of shown in there. This is going to be a right angle. So that means that that is 90 degrees. EFG is 90 degrees. We also know that the measure of angle EFH plus the measure of angle HFG is going to equal the measure of angle EFG. All right, so let's plug in the pieces we know. We know that EFG is 2x plus 2. We know that the measure of angle HFG is x plus 1. And we know that EFG is 90 degrees because of that box. So let's combine our like terms. 3x plus 3 equals 90. Subtract 3, so we get 3x equals 87. Divide by 3, x equals 29. Let's plug it in to make sure we're right here. So 2 times 29 plus 2. 2 times 29, that's 58, plus 2 is 60. So that means that this has to be 30 degrees. Let's figure out if it is. 29 plus 1, 
that equals 30. Do 60 plus 30 equal 90? Yes, they do. So our x is absolutely correct. All right, sorry the video is going a little bit long, but we have a lot we need to cover in this. So first thing, congruent angles. Well, not first thing, the next thing, congruent angles. Congruent angles, they are going to be the same measure no matter what. So if you look, this measure may get brought up and may be that big. So that might be a bigger part, but look at this. If I bring this guy over, our two angles are congruent. What it means is that our angles are congruent. It doesn't matter if our segments are rays, if they're congruent, all that matters is that the angles are. There, see that the angles are the same exact thing there. The measure is the same in between those two rays there. This is going to be the same as this. Notice that. They're the same exact thing. So that means congruent. Angle bisector, just like a segment bisector, what an angle bisector does is it cuts the angle in half. That means that this piece is the same as this piece. And with angles, what we do is we draw those little, little semicircles in there to show you guys that those are congruent. All right, well, let's stop trying to explain it here. Let's do some examples. So let's look at this one. YW bisects angle XYZ. So we know right now, okay, we know that it's bisected. That means that this angle is the same as that angle. That's the symbol I was talking about to mean that those angles are the same. We know that XYW is 18 degrees. Well, if this is 18 degrees, all right. Well, if that's 18 degrees and they're the same, we know that this is also 18 degrees. So XYZ, well, really, all that equals is XYZ. Well, I'm going to write it out so you guys can see the measure of angle XYW plus the measure of angle WYZ equals the measure of angle XYZ. Well, we know this is 18 plus 18 and that's going to equal 36 degrees. So the measure of angle XYZ equals 36 degrees. That simple. All right, so BD bisects ABC. Find X, then find the measure of ADB and the measure of ABC. Well, again, we know that this is the same as this. That means that this has to equal this. They have to be congruent. They have to be the same. If they are the same, they are equal. So what do we do to solve it? we set them equal. So 4x minus 2 equals 3x plus 18. Now I'll just solve from there. So subtract 3x from both sides. So we get x minus 2 equals 18. Add 2 to both sides, and we get x equals 20. Now is that what we have to do? Is that all we have to do? Well, we had to find x, but now we also have to find abd. Well, abd is over here. It's 4 times 20 minus 2, well, 4 times 20, that's 100 and, sorry, that's not 120, that's 80 minus 2, which means that's going to equal 78 degrees. So the measure of angle ABD equals 78 degrees. Now we could go ahead and just multiply that by 2, but I myself, I want to check my answer to make sure we did this right. So I'm going to do 3 times 20 plus 18, which is going to equal 60 plus 18 which is really going to equal 78 degrees. So if you look, these two are correct, which means our x is correct. Now we have to find ABC. And ABC is double ABD. It's really 78 plus 78. So the measure of ABC is going to equal 156 degrees. All right, last problem, and then we're done with the video. I want to find those missing pieces. I want to find those missing pieces in this shape. So this is going to get really hard. We're going to find A, B, C, and D. First thing we have to know is this line right here. I'm going to find A first. This line right here, it's straight, right? If that is straight, that means that A plus 160 equals 180. That means that A has to equal 20 degrees. Sorry, I almost said 100 degrees. So A, we know that equals 20 degrees. All right, well, now let's look again. This is a straight line right here. That means that B plus A equals 180 degrees, but I know what A is already, so I know that B plus 20 degrees equals 180 degrees. So if B plus 120, sorry, I wrote the degrees there, and I didn't want to write that. That means that B is going to equal 160 degrees. So that's going to be 160 degrees. It's kind of interesting. Those kind of look similar, don't they? Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, let's go back to this other side here to find C. Well, if we look at C, 
this part right here, that sure the heck looks like 90 degrees to me. That looks like 90 degrees. That means that C plus 75 degrees equals 90 degrees. Subtract 75, C is going to equal 15 degrees. C is going to equal 15 degrees. All right, now the tricky part here, D. How in the world are we going to figure out D? Well, if we look, this line right here equals 180 degrees, doesn't it? It's going to equal 180 degrees. And I know that this plus whatever, well, this measure right here, I know that's 90 degrees. So that plus that plus D, so let's do that. So D plus 90 plus 15, that's going to equal 180 degrees. So I know that D plus 105 is going to equal 180, which means all I have to do is subtract that now, and I'm going to get D equals 75 degrees. Look at that. Look at all you guys can accomplish with what we know. That's all I'm going to do for the video. I know that if you guys printed out the slides, there's two more slides on there. Go ahead and feel free to try those problems on your own. Let me know if you guys have any questions.